Tyreek keeps getting in trouble. Like the guy's going to have more lawsuits than Trump next year during the season. <laughs> and it's a fucking yeah, problem, bro. Sure. <laughs> like, God damn, like stop. Those babies. It's like, that, uh, bro, guaranteed he, he broke baby. someone's a lady's leg and then he just get in a physical altercation. Oh my God. Hey, did, you see, <laughs> did you see his messages? It's, it's like, sicko. bro. He's a sicko. It, it's, is he becoming too much of a distraction? No. No. No, no, not even no. close. He can not, do hey, not, 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 not 1,900 yards receiving. That's not a distraction yeah, at all. I mean, and regardless, be, if he's gonna, be, you can afford to be right there, right? As long as yeah. he can still show up and be that guy, then yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, it but is what it is. If he's breaking to, MILF's legs. But how do you <laughs> show up to work, right, that focused? Yeah. It, especially how focused you got to be yeah. if you have that many, like, legal issues. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I think it could be an escape for some people. There's so a lot of players. There's a lot, up, of player, there's a lot of players. There's a lot of players like so that. <laughs> there's a so, lot of players. I mean, with with that lady's lawsuit, though, come on, that's BS. If you're horse playing around and your leg gets broke, that's horse what happens things. when you horse play around, right? Horse Unless, playing. Stop yeah. it. This man's 100 years old talking about horse playing. Yeah, he's doing something else. Nah. He's telling her to get up on press coverage. He's like, no, you, you can get press up me. Bit. You can nah. press me. You can press you, mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, he's, he's not a distraction. Funny. He's yeah. he's 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 about sixty five percent of our offense. We need that in Miami. So yeah. of uh, course, of course, he can of course. he can slap captains. He can have seven children. He can get a divorce. He can do all that shit. Well, from my perspective, though, too, one of the things that I was really impressed with having Tyreek, and we've had this conversation, I think, with both y'all, but. Um, Having him on the Miami Dolphins, I didn't notice this on the Chiefs, and maybe it was still present. But I was really, I really admired his leadership and his consistency, yeah. his temperament, how he would act on the sidelines. He acted like somebody that knew that people were looking to looking to him. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like legitimately, one of the most emotional moments of the entire season for me, and no bullshit, was when he ran off the field when he got hurt and he ran off the field. I was like, oh, that's real shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just from like a I agree. just playing the game standpoint, it's like you know that's what the guys on the sideline want to see. And that means that means everything in the moment to them. So I think he showed a awareness in those moments. Now, to your point, though, there is obviously a lack of because, I mean, it goes hand in hand to a certain extent. So there's some kind of lack of lacking of awareness when he's doing all this wild shit, getting yeah, fucking several women pregnant. So, um, yeah, but, but but I'm cool. With, I'm, I'm taking that. That's what it is. Yeah, you know, the, he's the, living that lifestyle. It is what it is. He chose that. Life. The only thought is, again, again, this is not a want. This is just a. Hypothetical. Well, the like, did ask like, to run like, four two. He didn't like, ask for like that. Just, just talking. If you were to like say, "Hey, listen, man, Cincinnati wants T Higgins wants out. No we, could we put Waddle on that spot and then bring T Higgins out, Absolutely and then not. you give one of them a contract?" But no, again, you don't. Yeah, it's Tyreek just, it's just, just conversation so, because because there's so much of a because there's so much shit. So it's like as like when does it? But again, be who you can afford to be. You're that great. Oh, shit, facts. You're going to be able to. Yeah, like get away with a lot more shit. It's unfair to the, everybody else, but hey, you can afford the legal fees. Hey, listen, when you're <laughs> running that fast and you're that productive, that's part of why you work that hard, man. Let's right. afford that. <laughs> that. Come on, he, uh, he wanted to be able to afford himself the the ability to do what he wants. Okay, <laughs> uh, do you really risk your job on drafting day one starters in the draft? By the way, that's what you said. Um, I mean, I think it's kind of your job, right? Well, I mean, and to a certain extent, I don't know how much of a choice you have. You just have to be smart about what positions you're asking to start and what players. And that goes with evaluating the talent, what positions have a wealth of starters in the draft. And all you can do is project that to your point, Deuce. There's always a risk involved in that. When you draft, uh, we've seen mad people draft quarterbacks first, second, third overall, and they lost their job about that. Right. Shit. Yeah, go ahead. No, but like if you look at the, who just won the Super Bowl. We can always point at Mahomes because, again, one of the best two-minute drives I've ever seen in my entire life. But um, he he is – it wasn't even two minutes. It was just the end of the game. He just iced the game. But, yeah, it was Bro, two. He, he but anyways, but that defense yeah. is what kind of, like, kept them in everything. Okay? Like, uh, you look at, like, there was times in that, in that game in the Super Bowl where their offense wasn't moving the ball at all. And their defense had to step up. Their defense had to make plays. Their defense had to – Legereus Need had to knock a fumble out of the half-yard line, right? Yeah. So when you look at that team, that defense is built around day one starters. You look at Bolton. You look at Sneed. You look at, I mean, uh, I forget the safety's name. Again, I'm horrible with names tonight, and I apologize. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, so – but the thing is, how many of those guys are you asking to come in and be like, they're replacing a difference maker. I don't know. And then you, and you're not necessarily replacing that difference maker. I guess that's the, that's where 
our concern comes from is like with Xavier Howard at his best, true difference maker. Can we replace that with a uh, uh, a day one corner like even Joe Horn or something like that? Like that's not really replacing top of the end Xavier Howard, mm-hmm. although like a Sauce Gardner would. But yeah, it's like you but, know what I mean. But but what yeah. again? Let's be honest about what X has given us. It hasn't been top tier cornerback, play. but at the time, but so, but but when he's healthy and when he was across from uh, uh, Jalen Ramsey, we were expected to see, and we did see, yeah, that's not, yeah, yeah, that definitely improved. I think, um, <laughs> again, let, let's say like this again next season. Just keep him away from Stefan Diggs. We'll be all right. Yeah, but 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 like like <laughs> next season, if we don't sign, like we're gonna have to sign Javon Holland or if, or Re- or uh, Rasheed Rice. Oh. Yeah, yeah, God, damn. yeah, God damn. Yeah, he's going to play with one of those guys. Well, that's what I mean. That's just what it is. Is just the NFL's uh, coming. You, if you're going to play man to man or yeah. zone beaters, you run crossers to, to oh fuck with people wide open to fuck yeah. with people in their zones, and that's what and that's what they did. They use it to our advantage. Um, but yeah, X is not a a whole field cover guy. He's more of a um, I wouldn't say an island, but he's like he has a third of the field and he does great job. Yeah, he's a great um, cover three corner. Who was the corner that he was across from? I feel like there wasn't it. Brandon we, Jones. Didn't we? No, no not Brandon Jones. Um, fuck. What's Grimes. The uh, Grimes. What's the, what's the one that we had to cut that we paid? Byron Jones. Oh, yeah. Byron Jones. Yeah, yeah, about yeah. Before that, I felt like there was a, we had him and another young corner. At the same time, although maybe I'm getting that uh, mixed up with Sean Smith and fucking Vontae <laughs> Davis. Davis. Sean yeah, Smith. Yo, yo, man, we had so Sean much, we had dog, so man. much high hopes in those two, too, man. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I still fucked with them. I, I like the Vontae. Team, the team, we were just getting our ass bust, the busted in general. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's yeah. hard. That's quarterback play. Things. Quarterback play, yeah. But, by the way, when we talk about Mahomes, and I mean, not we don't need to make this about a fucking Mahomes, you know, uh, a fest or anything. But, um... I think that, like, when you have that kind of like player on the other side, though, you can galvanize those players and get more out of them. And like, hundred percent, yeah, they're playing for something. They always know they're playing for something. Um, so even they ever play more loose. Also, sorry to cut you out there, but yeah, because they're able to play more loose with um with knowing that hey, if we do fuck up, we got that guy. Sure. So it's like, hey, sure. let let me take this shot. Uh, uh, no, yeah. no breaking on the ball as opposed to playing the player, and then you get more more plays. Yeah. So yeah, I mean it's. Which again, man, who is that guy? Tua, so <laughs> he's not what well, the fuck? He's How not we well, get back to Tua? I'm not gonna do uh, talk about the Dolphins. Yeah, we are talking about the Dolphins. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so here, I guess, I mean, I want to get into some of these other signings. Um, well, what, what, what was your answer to uh, the? Do you think we got worse or got better? I think for right now we're worse. I think that's good. But I mean, like I said, I think that we're worse. But I don't think that we couldn't compete for the. Uh, uh division so it's like i think that we could we could possibly still beat the buffalo bills and the other two teams i would feel like we should be favorited against jets and the uh patriots patriots who by the way just let go um uh mac jones so they're trading them to jacksonville they're definitely i mean not that he's wild yeah, they probably they probably got better just off that move <laughs> Bro, <laughs> but no, it's legitimately- well, they get they i was like a uh, judy right no who got uh, browns who got, browns yeah browns got judy. Uh, who did the Jag, uh, Jags bring in. Uh, Jags brought in Mac Jones. Oh, Gabe, Gabe, uh, Davis. Gabe, Gabe, Gabe yeah. Davis. Yep. Uh, which, which I was going to ask, like, like, do you want to see his draft? Because again, talk about deep draft receivers in this draft are deep, deep. Yeah. So like, oh, we, they, they're always, they're always are, and that's my right. argument. I know not to get off topic, but that's why I'm saying I don't think we pay Waddle all that money when it comes down to it, because you can find another receiver. That can't give you what Waddle gives you, hey, but you can get somewhere. Yeah, so why are you stop me? Why are you, why you just, bro, why are you just bring my guy out of this? Right? Why are we doing this? What are if, you doing? If, if you look at bro. Dolphin's Twitter, bro, if you mention anything about not extending fucking Waddle, if, we'll act bro, like you are. <laughs> um, hey, I'm gonna be the hey, I'm gonna be the hey, I'm gonna be the one to tell you, y'all motherfuckers is gonna be sick when he's asking for thirty plus million a year. Dog, hey, get give it to Steve Smith Jr. I don't care. Hey, but listen, Y'all, be real. Hey, he gonna be that motherfucker is gonna be asking for number Very one bad. receiver money when it comes down to it, and then you got to make another decision like the Christian Wilkins. Are you yeah. gonna literally pay him? Unless you're gonna get off of Tyreek Hill. Now, if you tell That's me it. like, hey, Tyreek Hill's old and beating up people. <laughs> I'm just hey, kidding. If, <laughs> if if you say, hey, we're moving off of Tyreek Hill, then okay, I can see that. But right now, how it's constructed, bro, 
I, I don't see. Like, I don't see a way. Uh, the Waddle's back with us. Yeah, I think it, that, he might retire. I think. Yeah, I think Tyree could retire in the next two years. To be honest, um, and I think a lot of the conversations. I don't know if y'all listen to this podcast at all or anything like that, but a lot of he has pretty open conversations about that. And like yeah, he that does. He's thinking about retirement and has that in mind, and uh, yeah, and I mean all kinds of other shit. He's a wild boy. Uh, yeah, but he ain't cool. gonna leave. If you look at how his contract is structured. Um, right like now, or something like that on the back. Lab, Lab McConkey, round three. Oh, we don't have a third round pick though. We are because Christian Wilkins signed a contract. No, we don't get that. We get that 2025, bro. Oh fuck! I thought that was the next. God damn, that's no. Man. We're about to be. We're going to be rich next year with picks, but we don't get it this year. We get yeah, bro. 2025. We really and we get and we get another one because uh, our defensive coordinator is a minority. So we're going to have three right now. Hey, third round yeah, pick. I, thought, I thought I thought we gave up that. That's why I thought the, that rule was kind of fucked up. It goes to the No, team. you no. receive one. That's why San Francisco been doing what they've been doing, and they've been eating. Everyone's like, hey, how San Francisco so good? It's because they kept accumulating all these third-round picks. Well, no, I think it's because the, and, and the minority because, coach gets hired. Yeah, I think it's because they're – developing those coaches and then those coaches go and get hired so they got one for sala they got one for mcdaniel yeah but it doesn't come from the team that hired the coach i mean you don't you hire a minority coach and then lose a draft pick oh that'd be so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you don't know you receive one if you any coordinator <laughs> position you get a you get a uh you get a pick for it and that's what they got for the steve wilkes so that's right. why they were going to miko and then they got steve wilkes in there oh. so they're playing I'm, the they're playing the smart over there. I'm gonna say, we need to find a six. My timeline three. would look like fucking Soul Train, brother. A Maybe. six two six three <laughs> slot. Do, should we bring back Claypool? Uh, fuck hell no, absolutely hey. not. That guy. By the way, Deuce, I'm glad you hopped in. That's a perfect time for you to come. But you need this fucking goddamn. You need an answer for Chase Claypool. This is a Notre Dame guy. He'll know how to fucking act. Notre Dame's a bum. <laughs> he always bust. Yeah, he's a fucking bitch. Same. Cannot stand him. He's one of Saint Brown's. Wrong. He's he's one of the players that I was most like. He's just. He seems aloof. He's the he's the um uh uh Jordan fucking pool of the NFL for real. Yeah, yeah. No, he's he, he he's wild. Well, he kind of he, he he fucked us up running wrong routes and he just couldn't get it together. And I and I get it. He came, you know, part of the season, like you know, so you got to learn yeah, fit in. But but if, but if he takes league men or some shit, like why not? This motherfucker has a forty nine inch vertical. He's so I'm not. He's I'm not. So I'm not. I'm not going there. But There's we do so need much potential. We do need uh, a wide receiver. Crazy. We do need a wide receiver three. The only problem is that they say that this offense is so complicated to learn um, that your base that rookie's not going to get to pick it up in that. Just fucking keep River Craycraft. God damn it! Keep that's keep probably what they're going to do. They're probably going to go River Craycraft. Damn it! Twenty of them are going to be for first downs. No, bro. three no. are going to be for touchdowns. They need to get better. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, these. Bro, I mean, he catches it and falls down. I, I, and that's also, all he does. And also, I don't know. Why? So you're saying that they don't believe that we can have a wide receiver come into our offense and learn it in one year? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, oh, that's what they're saying. They're saying that it's so it's so complex. The offense is so complex. Fucking readers, okay? They're smart people. Yeah, I'm thinking. Okay. Another, I mean, listen, I, there, there's less head contact. There's less head trauma. These kids are smart, okay? Fucking, they're not like us. Remember when? Remember when Chad Chad Ocho Cinco came to the Dolphins and he couldn't he couldn't figure that offense out, bro. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> see, he has he had four plays, bro. That I've never seen somebody drop off so fucking hard, bro. bro that like, was crazy. He yeah, got that, bro. bro that was at and the time where when you got in trouble for that shit, like it was over. Yeah, I liked him a lot. It was like, over. He, nah, he dropped way yeah. off, bro. Like he bro, couldn't even get off the line. Like he was. Bro, he, got <laughs> next he literally didn't know. And I remember them talking about that during the game. It was like he was saying before the game when we talked to him, he's still trying to learn. <laughs> Yeah, this is for bad. the Dolphins and the Patriots. He was wild. Yeah, nah, I don't know, well, listen, I don't know man. what was happening. He might have been illiterate. I'm be honest, and no disrespectful. <laughs> no. People are illiterate. Real shit. Yeah, that's true. I, I mean, yeah. when you're in every day, when you're in every day, I assume everybody I meet, I'm like, okay, knows how to read, knows how to read. Hey, don't do my dog like that. He was a killer over yeah, in fucking Cincinnati. But it's not even a reading hey, issue. It's like you can't read so the fucking bad. like fucking line and arrows, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there. You know yeah. 